WCW Mayhem, the video game that kicked off Electronic Arts' short-lived foray in the business of producing wrestling video games, was something of an admirable first showing on the console side of things, a sign that the World Championship Wrestling license was in good hands. And then they shut the bed with backstage assault, but I digress. Anyway, did you know that in addition to WCW Mayhem for PlayStation and Nintendo 64, there was also a Game Boy Color iteration of the game? Well, if not, then now you do. And if you did know, well, you still know. But yes, this is WCW Mayhem for the Game Boy Color, released in May of the year 2000, three quarter years after the console release. All better late than never, I suppose. Mayhem gives you 12 of the top names in World Championship Wrestling circa 1999. Guys like Goldberg, Sting, Ric Flair, Lex Luger, DDP, Kevin Nash, Hollywood Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, Bret Hitman Hart, Bam Bam Bigelow, Buff Bagwell, and Booker T among others. Or maybe that's a whole roster I just listed out. Who cares? The game itself is fairly bare bones in its modes. You have Quest for the Best, the usual beat everyone to win the title championship mode, a single one-on-one -on -one exhibition match against the computer, and a single one-on-one -on -one exhibition match against the second player via Game Link. So Mayhem on Game Boy Color, much like its console iterations, is a bit lacking in the match types. In any event, Mayhem typically works similarly to the old acclaimed WWF games that grace the 16-bit consoles, in theory at least. Basically, your two wrestlers get together in a grappling position and you mash buttons in an effort to pull off moves, whether it be Irish whips, gravity-defying suplexes and body tosses, or the spinning pile driver, seemingly ripped from Street Fighter. Reality is thrown out the window in this here wrestling video game, and that's probably for the best, but sadly what also went out the window is anything resembling functional gameplay. Now look, I've played a bunch of games that took the Super WrestleMania playstyle, as I'll call it, into an 8-bit format. Steel Cage Challenge on NES, Raw for Game Boy, and Game Gear, and they just didn't work. And unfortunately, Mayhem continues the tradition of mediocrity with its haphazard control scheme that seems pretty pointless and pretty worthless from the get-go. There's no rhyme or reason behind anything. You grapple, you mash buttons, and you hope you pull off a move, which is easier said than done. All 12 featured wrestlers have pretty much the same move set, with the only exception being their finisher, which apparently can be performed when your opponent's health is in the red and requires some specific button combination, or so says IGN. I don't know. Truth be told, there's not much information in regards to how the game is supposed to work or play. Even game facts is really no help there, so it's entirely possible I may be missing something here. But even with that said, Mayhem feels like a mess. Mashing buttons aimlessly doesn't make for a fun experience, especially on a system with limited buttons, which is sad because the Game Boy does have some decent wrestling games on there, and sadly Mayhem isn't one of them. Now, to Mayhem's credit, there are some positives to this package. For one, the wrestlers move incredibly fast. Somewhat odd considering this is World Championship Wrestling circa 1999, where the, all the main eventers are a bunch of old guys who could barely move at the speed of light, but there you go. Also, you could fight ringside, but you could also take the fight to the locker room captured via monochromatic security camera, which is actually a nice touch, and even the back lot though pinfalls take place in the ring as they should. Also, there's taunting via the start button, which seems to serve no real functional purpose, but it's there, and it's something, I, I suppose. Graphically speaking, you have wrestlers depicted in a cartoony, big head fashion, but at the very least somewhat resemble the wrestlers they're supposed to depict. The various set pieces look pretty decent for what it's worth, the security camera monochrome effect for the locker room is a rather nice touch, and the game runs at a decent pace, though sadly, the digitized portraits of the wrestlers are of somewhat poor quality. Oh well, at least they tried. Here, have a complimentary red belt championship as well as an equally worthless you deserve it chant for your efforts. And then there's the audio, which is quite above average, with one exception, the droning music that plays in the background. Fortunately, you could turn the music off and stick with the sound effects, which have some minor voice bites and digitized sound effects that might have a bit of noise to it, but it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Here you go, Mayhem. Another complimentary red belt. Overall, WCW Mayhem on Game Boy Color is a thing that exists. And that's about the nicest thing I could say about this game. While controls and gameplay are about as coherent and functional as the WCW television shows that took place at the time, that is to say not very good, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have fun with this one. 
mostly because I got a kick out of the suplexes that propelled your opponent out of the ring and into outer space, but also the backstage bits were a nice bit of added variety that made Mayhem somewhat unique and showed that there was potential in the game if the parts that mattered were a little more functional. Sadly, that's not the case and Mayhem ends up being a wasted opportunity. Too bad too, because w perhaps with a little more polish this would have been really something, but alas, it's not to be.